Hello everyone, not even two months have passed and the new update is here. Today we will take a look at it and I will show you what all has been changed. If I forgot anything let me know in the comments. So let's go. As you can hear the sounds of walking on snow have been added. And they are not the only sounds that have been added. Now you can also hear the sound of walking on the wood on the ladder and more. Also more music has been added to the game. Now let's see what all has been changed on the route. If you don't like the walking sounds or the music in the game, now you can turn it off in the settings. Another thing that has been added is that when you are on the wooden bridge so the screen moves. I like this it makes the game look more realistic. Let's move on to other changes. So, now I'm at the snowmobile section. Where the option to customize the color of your snowmobile has been added. You can change the color of three things, the body, the seat, and the suspension. When you change the color, it is then saved so you don't have to worry about having to repaint your snowmobile on your next expedition. I like this white combination the best, but you can make your own colors. Another thing that has been added on is a change to the entrance and exit to Explorer's Cove. Now there are these ice shelves, it looks nice. And here's what the exit from Explorer's Cove looks like now. We are now approaching the main part of this update. You can see the new sign in the distance. Avalanches have been newly improved. This sign shows the avalanche forecast. There's a new forecast every minute. The sign advises to hide under the slope or run away from the avalanche. And it also shows what each avalanche danger level means. My sign now predicted a high probability of an avalanche. I hope I survive. Plus, there's a storm, which is really awesome. The route has been changed from the second camp to the highest mountain in Antarctica, so let's take a proper walk. There in the distance you can see these black lines on the mountain, which probably means that there will be an avalanche soon. Yes, that's right, just hide quickly. And the avalanche is coming. That was close. Let's continue on our route. And here begins another part of the new track. The first are these ladders that have to be crossed, it's not difficult. And there's new music playing in the background. Here this jump can be a bit more difficult, especially when it is over such a huge chasm. And here's a new abandoned road, that's great. So of course we take the better route. OMG, here's another dead person. I wonder how many dead people are already on the map. Now let's try to climb up. I hope I don't fall down here. That was close. But it seems to me that this abandoned road is a lot easier than the first one. What do you think? Now let's continue our route. Here are these jumps up that shouldn't be difficult. And here's this inclined ladder, that's interesting. Wow! Here we are. 
The main part of the map change is ice climbing. Here you take a rope and climb up. The rope automatically belays you on the wall. Just don't climb on these icy parts, because if you climb on them you'll fall down. I'm almost to the top. At the top, you unbuckle and continue your expedition. Here is another place with avalanches, I guess if there are no black lines, there will be no avalanches. But we'd better hurry. Here's just a ladder, nothing difficult. And behind the ladder is a section of the old map that looks like it hasn't been changed, so we'll just climb it. But this has already been changed and that is that on the way to the mountain here blows, so watch out that the wind does not blow you away and you do not kill yourself. Also, just like the wooden bridge, there is a shaking screen which looks very good. In addition, new music plays in the background, which adds more tension to the whole expedition. And this is where the map changes end, but one more thing has been changed, but that's at the end, so let's take a time lapse. The last thing is that the design of the standard plane was changed a bit, I don't know if it was outside but the interior was changed. And that's all, what do you think about the new update you guys write me in the comments and add hashtag update. See you soon.